What's up guys and welcome to the show. So this is awesome episode of the show because I have this. This is known as the Florida Shell Rock. It is just a amazing beauty. I had to show you guys as I just got this tonight to add to the uh, collection. The specimen is unreal, very rare. These, you could only get them in, in one place. Like, it is just unreal to have this. The stories behind these, uh, these shell rocks are just uh, amazing stories as well. This, this would be considered to be a sedimentary rock. It has uh, calcite in it. I don't know if you guys could really pick it up on the camera, but like there would be your calcite right there. You could, you could kind of see, uh, I don't know if you could pick it up on the camera there, but you could see uh, pieces of the calcite as well as the quartz. You see these streaks in it right there would be your quartz. I don't know if you guys could pick that up on the camera as as well, but it's, it's really, uh, I think this is a type of clay as, as well. So it's, it's pretty light. I don't know the exact weight of this. I haven't weighed it or anything. I was just really excited. So I just had to show you guys uh, about it. But uh, it's a Florida shell rock. Uh, it was mined out of the Indian River County in Florida. It is is where it was actually mined from. I guess the story behind it goes that approximately 200,000 years ago, uh, that location in Florida was actually submerged under the ocean of water. It mixed with fresh water, the shells, fossils featured within the rocks. Tell us that the rocks were near the tidal zone when its natural occurrence took place. Oh, that's uh, definitely pretty interesting as well. The shells present range from split to clams to oysters. Over time, so the water has reduced, the poles began to grow, the ice, these areas were becoming covered with mangrove uh, communities. The muck formed from the mangroves. It would then decay and release sulfur, that sulfur mixed with water to form hydrosulfuric acid. The acid would, sorry about that guys, the uh, camera died so I had to uh, grab a fresh battery. But uh, anyway, as I was saying, the acid would precrolite through the top layers of the shell, uh, remnants to dissolve the calcium, forming calcium carb carbohydrates. The, those calcium carbohydrates would then would then procreate down deeper into the older shells and so on and so forth so anyway the the story behind these are, are just in, in insanely uh interesting the crystals in them are just unreal this is de definitely an amazing amazing um specimen i'm definitely really excited to actually have it in the collection uh I'll do a more in-depth video on this uh, as I do a little bit more looking into this uh, specimen here. Uh, anyway, that's the rock. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe.